So I know it's been a, a while since we've done a, a video blog at all, but uh, with everything kind of tightening up for this winter, uh, I th we thought this might be a really good time to do one and, and really just kind of update everyone on the direction that we as a church uh, plan to take as we move forward through all the coronavirus stuff that's happening. Uh, so winter's on us. And as, as everyone really expected, uh, the number of COVID cases has, has gone up. And uh, everyone predicted that that would happen. And, but one thing we really haven't been able to predict are the regulations and the steps that we need to take uh, during a time like this. And we, we honestly, we still can't predict those things and, and, and what we're gonna have to do. But what we can do is, is really just be ready to make any adjustments that might be necessary and, and exercise prayerful wisdom uh, in, in all of those decisions. As, as a church, our goal is really twofold in, in this situation. First is to bring glory to God in, in His name. And second is to keep everyone both safe and sane. <laughs> and honestly, the reason that, that what we're doing has been working so far is because what all of, of you guys prioritize is God receiving glory. When we make that more important than, say, things like our preferences or even our feelings, uh, then we're more prone to do the right things and, and make the right choices. And with those driving factors in mind, the, the question becomes, what do, we, what do we do now? As cases increase and, and color designations change for our area, what do we do? Uh, really, you know what the answer is? The same thing we have been doing. Bring glory to God's great name. And, and take the correct measures to keep everyone safe and sane. And also, we might add to that, be ready to make any necessary adjustments, even if we have to do it on the fly. Uh, we don't, I mean, really know what those adjustments might be. Uh, at this point, God has been just so extremely good to us. We think about all the time that we had outdoors in the summer, and now we're able to continue having church uh, indoors. And our children's church leaders, they've been so amazing at keeping that ministry up and running and very, very safe. And we praise God also for the Supreme Court ruling that brought into question uh, a government decision that gives one standard to churches and another standard to organizations within the, the COVID color designations. Uh, that Supreme Court decision allows us as a church to choose wisely together how we might proceed. And, and that is what we will do. Even as color uh, designations may adjust, We'll, we'll decide together um, through prayerful wisdom how we should be proceeding as a church. Now, to all those who have chosen or due to some kind of ailments or, or whatever reason, uh, you have felt it wisest to watch uh, our church services online or join a ministry online, uh, I want you to know just how much we truly love you and appreciate you. And, and one thing's for sure, we completely understand and we absolutely respect anybody's decision to, to stay home and, and watch online. And uh, you need to know that you continue to be a vital part of this church and our ministry together. We just miss seeing everyone in person though. I mean, that's just the truth. Now, to those who regularly attend indoor services or Bible studies and are able to continue serving in person, um, you also are amazing. And we are so grateful for you and for your willingness 
to uh, have a positive approach in ministry. Uh, together, we're just going to keep pointing people to Jesus and bringing Jesus to people, no matter where we have to do that from. <laughs> so listen, it's crazy and an unprecedented time that we're living in, and I get it. It's wrought with challenges for sure. But you know what? It's not cliche to say, God's still on the throne. <laughs> and his ministry, it's still kicking. <laughs> so wherever we're at and however we end up doing it, we're still just going to keep bringing God glory. And that, my friends, doing that, that'll keep you safe and sane. <laughs> hey, one way or another, We'll see you all on Sunday.